Tom just got hired at the ice cream shop. It was called Creamy Goodness. It was a five-minute walk from his house. Today was his first day on the job. He was nervous. He was also excited. He showed up in his uniform. He was early to the job. He wanted to make a good impression. His first task was to open the shop. He had to prepare the ice cream. He also had to set up the tables and the chairs for the customers. He had to clean all the equipment. He had to make sure everything was ready. His manager helped him get ready. His co-workers also helped. He worked as a cashier. He scooped the ice cream. Tom loved his job. Joe is a sales associate. He has a lot of duties. He helps customers find things. Customers can be annoying. They always think they're right. Joe always has to be nice to them. Joe also answers phone calls. People ask about products in the store. Joe cleans the bathroom. That's the worst part. It's very dirty. He has to pick up trash. He has to refill the soap. Joe is also at the cash register. He scans items. He gives people change. He gives back money for returns. He thinks his job is okay, but he plans to quit in a few years. Kenneth went to the movie theater. He likes to watch action movies. The more action, the better. He waited for his friends. They had planned to meet at 5 p.m. He waited outside. Twenty minutes passed. His friends were not there. He called one of them. It went straight to voicemail. He wondered where his friends were. He was getting upset. He called his other friends. They did not answer. He went back to the theater. He bought a ticket. He went to the concession stand. He bought popcorn and soda. He went inside the viewing room. He found a comfy seat. He sat down. He watched the movie all by himself. Danielle looked in the mirror. Her hair was oily. She needed to wash it. It takes her 30 minutes to wash her hair, but she had a date in 15. She didn't want to look bad, though. She got a tablecloth. It had pink flowers on it. She wrapped it around her hair. Now her hair was all covered. She went downstairs. Her brother started laughing at her. He told her to look in the mirror. She looked into the mirror. She looked ridiculous. She was jealous of her brother. Her brother had short hair. It only took him five minutes to wash his hair. Cindy needed to return her dress. She tried it on at home earlier. It did not fit her. Today was the last day to return it. After today, she had to keep the dress. The store closes at 8 p.m. She started driving at 7.30 p.m. It took her 20 minutes to get to the mall. She only had 10 minutes left to park her car and return her dress. Today was Saturday. There were too many cars in the parking lot. It took her five minutes to find a parking space. She ran out of the car, but she did not make it in time. The store was closed. Eileen had to see the doctor. She had no appointment. She had to wait for two hours to see the doctor. She was bored. She forgot her phone. She didn't know what to do. She looked around. Everyone had a phone. She looked to see if there were any magazines. Waiting rooms usually had magazines. 
There were magazines in Spanish. Eileen can't read Spanish. She turned on the TV. There was no cable. Eileen did not like local television. It was too boring. She turned off the TV. She tried to talk to the person next to her. The person ignored her. He was on his phone. She wished she had brought her phone. Tom was hungry, but lazy too. He didn't want to cook. He didn't want to go to a restaurant. He didn't even want to heat up leftovers. He decided to have a pizza delivered to him. He went on a pizza website. He ordered a small pizza. He waited for the pizza to arrive. Later, he heard the doorbell ring. He was too lazy to get up at first. He got up after five minutes. He opened the door. The pizza smelled so good. He paid the delivery man. He gave him a good tip, too. Tom sat back down on the couch. He ate the whole pizza. He was full. Bob had been exercising every day for a year. He had also been eating healthy. He wanted to see how much weight he lost. He stepped on the scale. He closed his eyes. He was scared. What if he'd gained weight? He opened his eyes slowly. He looked down. He smiled. He'd lost fifty pounds. He jumped up and down. He wanted to celebrate. He went to his favorite burger place. He ordered the jumbo size. He felt bad at first, but he deserved it. He ordered a large size of fries. He used five ketchup packets. He took his first bite. It tasted good. He would be healthy again tomorrow. Marie was messy. Cassie was clean. The two girls were roommates. Marie had a bunch of clothes on her bed. Cassie just had a blanket on hers. Cassie told Marie to put her clothes somewhere else. Marie ignored her. Marie had food from last week on her desk. It smelled bad. Cassie told her to throw it away. Marie said no. Cassie threw it away herself. Marie yelled at her. She was mad that Cassie touched her things. Cassie yelled at her back. She was mad at Marie for being messy. Marie left and slammed the door. Cassie was all alone. It was a good time to clean. Jessica was a college student. She did not know how to cook well. She does not have much time, either. She is always busy. She has an important test coming up. She grabs a bowl of instant noodles. Instant noodles are easy to prepare. She rips off the lid halfway. She rips the seasoning packet. The seasoning is what makes the noodles taste good. She pours the seasoning on the noodles. She fills the bowl with water. She closes the lid. She puts the bowl in the microwave. She heats it up for three minutes. She sits down. She studies while she waits. She hears the ding. It's ready. Allison wanted to eat breakfast. She took a bowl from the sink. She opened the cabinet. There were ten different cereal boxes. She got her favorite cereal box. It was the sugary kind. She poured the cereal into her bowl. She opened the refrigerator. She grabbed the milk carton. She poured the milk into the bowl. There was only a little bit of milk, though. It was not enough for her cereal. 
She couldn't eat cereal without milk. She groaned. She drove to the market. It was closed. She drove to another market. It was far, but it was open. She bought a gallon of milk. Finally, she could have a good breakfast. George and his friends went to the park. They first went on the swings. Everyone stared at them. They are already in college. They wanted to feel young again. A parent tapped George on the shoulder. It was a mother. She asked George to get off. George asked why. Because my little girl wants to go on, she replied. George turned to the side. There was a young girl. She was about ten years old. George felt bad. He got off the swing. Here you go, kid, George said. His friends laughed at him. George went on the slide. He felt young on the slide. Daniel goes to the library. He needs to borrow books on penguins. The library has all types of books. The library has movies and CDs, too. Dan doesn't have books on penguins. He actually doesn't buy that many books. He thinks books are a waste of money. Why buy books when you can borrow them from the library? He has to make a library card. He fills out his information. The application asks basic questions. He signs his name at the bottom. He borrows ten books on penguins. He goes to the checkout desk. The librarian scans the books. He takes the books home. She had a lot of money. She was a generous woman. She was once poor. She understood what it was like. She wanted to help out. On Christmas Day, she handed out food to the poor. She made the food herself. She put a turkey leg, a scoop of mashed potatoes, and peas on a plate. She gave the plate to each homeless person she saw. The homeless people loved her. One homeless man even gave her a penny. She said to keep it for himself. She decided to do more. She gave fifty dollars to every homeless person she saw. She felt good. He was a mean man. He treated people badly. He has no respect for anyone or anything. He spits on the ground. He sticks his gum on desks. He makes people cry. He makes his dates pay for dinner. He yells at his maid. His wife decided to leave him. This changed him. He wanted her back. He became nice. He donated to the poor. He volunteered at the animal shelter. He gave compliments to people. He wrote a letter to his wife. He stuck pictures of himself doing good things on the letter. He sent it. Hopefully, she would come back to him. Hillary went to Bree's house. Bree's older sister, Leah, stared at Hillary. Hillary was confused. Why did Leah look so mad? Leah whispered something to Bree. Bree nodded her head. Leah left the house. Bria told Hillary that her shoes were still on. Hillary was confused. Bree explained, Guests should take their shoes off when inside someone's house. Hillary was surprised. She had no idea. She always wore shoes inside the house. She didn't want to get her feet dirty. She didn't want to argue with Bree, though. She said sorry. Bree told Hillary to apologize to Leah. Hillary called Leah and said sorry. Leah said it was okay. Amanda is dating John. They have been dating for a year. 
Amanda wants John to meet her parents. John does not want to. He has heard that they are mean. Amanda yells at him. John finally gives in. They go to Amanda's parents' house. John has presents for them. John gives Amanda's dad chocolates. Then he gives Amanda's mom flowers. They say thank you. They all eat dinner together. Amanda's mom asks John what he does for a living. John says he is an actor. Amanda's mom nods. She does not like that he doesn't have a stable job. She wishes that he was a doctor. She does not approve. Sylvia was reading a magazine. One of the advertisements caught her attention. It was her old friend Tina from high school. She was a model now. She looked amazing. Sylvia wanted to talk to Tina again. She checked her phone book from high school. She called Tina's number. Nobody picked up. She probably changed her number. Sylvia looked Tina up on Facebook. Almost everyone on earth has a Facebook account. She managed to find her. Technology made everything so easy. Sylvia messaged Tina. Tina replied back. They made plans to meet at a cafe. Stephanie left her keys in the car. She has another set of keys at home. She called her brother. Hey, are you busy? she asked. Yes, I'm watching TV, he said. Well, too bad. I need you to drive me to school, she said. He complained. He didn't want to get up. The movie he was watching was good. Please, I'll clean your room for a week, she offered. Deal, I'll be there. Her brother said. Stephanie waited. Her brother arrived. He came in his white truck. He gave her the keys. Stephanie opened the car door. The siblings drove back home. Carrie has too many clothes. She does not have room for anything anymore. Her friends tell her to donate them. Carrie thinks that is a bad idea. She thinks it is a waste of money. She wants to sell her clothes. Her friends tell her that is a bad idea. They think that no one will want to buy her clothes. They say her clothes are not in style anymore. Carrie ignored them. She took pictures of her clothes. She posted them on a website. Two weeks passed by. Her friends were right. No one wanted to buy her clothes. Carrie decided to donate them. The soccer team had a potluck dinner. Each team member brought one kind of food or drink. There were 40 members. There were 40 different kinds of food and drinks. There were noodles, chips, soda, and burritos. At the end of the dinner, there were a lot of leftovers. Anyone want to take food home? The soccer coach asked. The players shook their head. They didn't like leftovers. I'm just going to throw everything away then, the coach said. No, that is such a waste. This could feed a family, said one of the players. The other members agreed. The coach had an idea. He drove to the homeless shelter. Hi, I would like to donate all this food. Virginia wanted to hang out with Claudia. They had not seen each other in four years. Virginia called Claudia. Hey, it's me, Jenny, she said. Wow, I have not seen you for a long time, Claudia said. Want to get lunch at IHOP? Virginia asked. I'm sorry, I have class, Claudia said. Virginia was sad. They said goodbye. 
Virginia went to IHOP with another friend. Before she went inside, she saw Claudia walk by. She was surprised. Claudia had lied to her. I thought you had class, Virginia said. Uh, I, did I say that? She said. Forget it. I would never want to hang out with a liar, Virginia said. Brandy was shopping. She saw a sign that said BOGO. She asked a worker what that meant. It means buy one, get one free, she said. She thought that was awesome. What a good deal. She looked through the clothing racks. She found a shirt for $30. She had to find something else now. She saw a skirt she liked. It was only $5. That meant it wasn't worth it. She wanted to get two items that were similar in price, but she couldn't find anything. She looked for an hour. She found a pretty dress. She checked the price tag. It was $80. She was annoyed. She ended up buying the shirt and the $5 skirt. Susan and Felicity are going to play tennis at the park. They have been playing this month. They go to different schools. Susan goes to school in Canada. Felicity goes to school in the United States. They used to go to the same high school. They were on the tennis team. Now they only see each other in the summer. Susan visits the United States every summer. It usually does not rain in the summer, but it rained on the day they planned to play tennis. They were upset. They still met each other. They stayed in and talked. April is from Colorado, where there's a lot of snow. April does not like the snow, so she lives in sunny California with her mom. April's grandmother is 100 years old. She lives in Colorado. She is very sick. April's mom wants to see her. She wants April to go to Colorado with her. April really does not want to go. April gets a letter from her grandmother. Her grandmother says her last dying wish is to see April and her mother. April feels bad. She decides to go because she loves her grandmother. Zack won a ticket to an amusement park. He won it from a dance contest. He had years of experience, so it was easy for him to win. He packed up all his belongings to go to the amusement park. He was planning to meet his friends there. He got in his sports car. He drove to the amusement park. He went up to the ticket counter. Welcome, may I see your ticket? asked the employee. He reached into his pocket. Nothing was there. He started sweating. He emptied out his backpack. It was not there. He must have left it at home. Cynthia decided to make eggs for her daughter's birthday because it is her favorite food. She woke up her daughter. Her daughter rubbed her eyes and yawned. Cynthia hugged her and said, Happy birthday. She gave her a food tray. There were bacon, pancakes, and eggs, of course. Cynthia's daughter looked at the eggs and said, What is this? It's eggs, silly. Your favorite, Cynthia said. It doesn't look the same, her daughter said. Cynthia explained that you could make eggs in many different ways. Her daughter had only ever eaten them scrambled. Cynthia fried the eggs this time. Her daughter took a small bite. Delicious, she said. Corey was poor. His parents had recently divorced. He lived with his dad. His dad only makes $9 an hour. 
Corey had four other siblings. Rent was expensive. Electricity was expensive. Water was expensive. Everything was expensive. Corey was so hungry, he decided to steal. He knew it was bad, but he was poor. He saw a delicious-looking apple. He looked around him. No one was looking at him. It was safe to steal. He put the apple in his pocket. He walked towards the store's exit. A moment later, he walked back to the apple section. He put the apple back. He did not want to be a bad person. Stealing is wrong. Veronica is 21 years old. She has not had a driver's license yet. Her friend makes fun her friends make fun of her. She does not care. She loves walking. She can walk fast. She can walk for hours. She walks to school every day. She walks to work every day. She walks to the market when she needs to. She does not get tired easily. She thinks walking is very relaxing. Running is a different story. She does not like to run. Running is tiring. Her stomach hurts when she runs. Veronica's new job is far away. She still won't get a car. She plans to take the bus. Gina recently moved out of her parents' place. She was excited and scared. She lived with her parents for over 18 years. Her parents used to cook for her. Now she must cook for herself. At first, she went out to eat a lot, but it got too expensive. She decided to learn how to cook. She planned to make fried cabbage. It was healthy and easy to make. She put a pan on the stove. She turned on the stove. She put some oil on the pan. She put the cabbage in the pan. She stirred the cabbage around. She closed the pan with a lid. She waited a couple minutes. It was ready. America is so big. It has 50 states. Some states are bigger than other countries. Texas is the biggest state in America. Texas itself is bigger than France. People sometimes consider states as countries because they are so different. Even cities can be very different from each other. Los Angeles and Bakersfield are both in California. Los Angeles is urban. It is very busy. There are a lot of shops. There are a lot of businesses. There is a lot to do in Los Angeles. Bakersfield is rural. It is quiet. There is not much to do. Houses are cheap there. America is very diverse. Finn has a strange sleeping schedule. He goes to sleep at 5 a.m. and wakes up at 3 p.m. He has a weird eating schedule, too. He eats breakfast at 3.30 p.m. He eats lunch at 7 p.m. He eats dinner at 1 a.m. One day, he was feeling hungry at 1 a.m. He did not want to cook, though. He decided to go to a 24-7 diner. 24-7 means always available. He drove down to the diner. There were a few people there. Finn sat on a stool by himself. He ordered a burger and a milkshake. Rick loves food. He loves food too much, though. He is overweight. He eats food when he is bored. He eats food when he is stressed out. He eats food when he hangs out with his friends. He eats huge meals. He eats waffles, fried chicken, 
and eggs for breakfast. He eats pizza, french fries, and soda for lunch. He eats a hamburger and onion rings for dinner. He also eats a lot of snacks between meals. He never exercises. He gets tired very easily. He is okay with his weight, though. He laughs when people call him fat. Heather has funny eating habits. She likes soggy cereal, so she waits ten minutes after she pours the milk. She eats pizza with a fork and knife. She eats french fries with chopsticks. She drinks ketchup from the packet. She puts ketchup on her chips. She likes to eat mustard with dumplings. She likes to eat pizza cold. She likes to eat melted ice cream. She likes eating seeds. She likes eating bananas with pretzels. She is not shy to eat weirdly around her friends. People usually stare at her, but Heather does not care. Rosie went to the supermarket. She wanted to buy milk, cereal, and chicken. She took a shopping cart. She went to the meat aisle. She grabbed a pack of chicken and put it inside the shopping cart. She went to the dairy aisle. She grabbed a gallon of milk and put it inside the shopping cart. She went to the cereal aisle. She grabbed a box of sweet cereal and put it inside the shopping cart. She saw a long line of people. She was curious what they were lining up for. She looked at the front of the line. They were giving out samples of pizza. Samples are free. There is always a line for samples. Rosie decided to stand in line, too. Diane wanted to get Tina a gift. She wanted to get Tina something meaningful. At first, she wanted to buy her something. She knew Tina wanted a designer bag for a long time. Diane did not think it was meaningful enough. She wanted to give something that came from the heart. She decided to make a photo collage. She got old photos of them over ten years. She cut them out and glued them on a cardboard piece. It was not expensive to make. Diane wrapped the gift up. She gave it to Tina. I hope you like it, Diane said. Tina opened it. She stared at the collage. Diane could tell she did not like it. Tina smiled. Love it, she said. I can tell you're lying, Diane said. Fine, I just thought you would give me something better, Tina said. Jacqueline had an event to go to. It was a reunion with her high school classmates. Everyone would be there. She wanted to look great and impress them. She bought an expensive dress. It was red and sparkly. It cost $500. She was planning to keep the tag on because she wanted to return it after the reunion. She went to the reunion. Everyone looked at her. She stood out. Everyone was dressed in pants and shirts. Someone was even wearing pajamas. Jacqueline felt embarrassed. People complimented her, though. She tried to forget about it. She started talking to her old classmates. Then she felt a cold splash on her. Someone had accidentally spilled cranberry juice on her. She could not return the dress any more. Karen looked out the window. There were drops of water on the window. It was starting to rain. Dogs began barking. The clouds started getting dark. Karen had planned to play soccer with her friends. She had to cancel the plan. She was sad at first. She then started to read her book. Rainy weather was the perfect time to read. 
she made herself a cup of hot chocolate. She sat on her couch. She put a blanket over herself. She opened her book. It was interesting. She read 100 pages in an hour. She heard her phone ring. Karen, let's go play soccer. It stopped raining, her friend said. Karen did not want to go anymore. She wanted to read her book. I'm going to stay in, Karen said. She continued reading. Maya likes to save money. She likes wholesale stores better than markets. Wholesale stores sell things in large quantities for a lower price. They have things like a gallon of mustard. A regular market only sells a bottle of mustard. Maya wants to buy apples, ketchup, and chips. The apples come in a pack, which has 20 apples. The pack costs $6. That means each apple is only 30 cents. At the market, each apple costs 40 cents. Maya's husband does not like wholesale stores. He gets tired of things easily. He would rather buy fewer apples for a higher price. Maya, we can't finish 20 apples before they go bad, her husband said. Of course we can, Maya said. Marina likes clothes. She likes being unique. A lot of girls in her school shop at the same stores. Marina hates to have the same outfit as another girl's. That is why she shops at thrift shops. A thrift shop sells things that people donate. They are usually clothes that have been worn before. Sometimes there are stains and holes in the clothes. They are very cheap. Marina enjoys looking through clothing racks. She usually finds at least one thing she likes. Last weekend, she found a dress. It was black and long. She thought it would be good to wear to a fancy dinner. Kaylin went to the library. She needed to get books for her project on Barack Obama. She found his biography. It was a heavy book with a lot of information. She flipped through the pages. There were some nice pictures of Obama. The book seemed helpful. She put it in her basket. She found the movie section. She decided to check it out. She could borrow a movie for three days for free. It would cost three dollars to borrow a movie for seven days. She picked a movie about a girl with diabetes. She put it in her basket. She checked out the book and the movie. Kenneth is a good tennis player. He has been playing since he was seven years old. He is now 16 years old. He competes against other players all around the country. They are also very good. He is competing against the best teen tennis player tomorrow. He is nervous. He has heard rumors about him. The other player is named Antonio. Antonio is mean. He is very competitive. He is not afraid to hurt people. He has punched someone before. Kenneth told his dad he wanted to quit. Why? You have been doing so well, Kenneth's dad said. I'm scared of Antonio, he said. Never give up, Kenneth's dad said. Shirley is a very picky eater. She does not eat anything with cheese. She does not like chicken or pork. She does not like trying new things. One day, Shirley went to her friend's house. Her friend's dad made them a Cambodian dish. Shirley was used to eating American food. I can't eat this, Shirley said to her friend. You have to. My dad made it for you she said. Shirley felt bad. She grabbed her fork. She slowly stuck it into the food. She ate slowly. It was surprisingly good. She finished her food in five minutes. Wow, 
I will get you another plate, her friend's dad said. Charlie was camera shy. He did not like having his photo taken. He often ran away from a camera. Charlie and his friends were in Hawaii. Bob wanted to take a group picture. He thought the beach would be a great place to do it. Charlie began to get nervous. His friends got closer together. Charlie walked away. Charlie, come on, they said. Charlie ignored them. Bob put his camera down. He ran after him. Charlie, you know why pictures are important? He asked. Charlie shook his head. When you're old, you and your kids will want to see how you looked like when you were young, Bob said. Jane and Tara went to the beach. It was hot. The sun was out. The sky was clear. Jane put on some sunscreen. She put it on her arms, legs, and face. She did not want her skin to burn. Her sunscreen was SPF 50. That means Jane can stay in the sun 50 times longer than she could without it. With SPF 50, Jane probably will not get sunburned. She asked Tara if she needed any. No, I'm okay, Tara replied. Jane warned her that she would get burnt. Tara ignored her. When they went back home, Tara just got tanner. She didn't get burnt. Some people don't burn. Tyler has had a red Honda for 20 years. A lot of bad things have happened to his car. There are a lot of scratches. Most of them are from hitting the curb. Someone also keyed his car. The red color has faded. The heating and cooling systems are funny. When it is hot outside, only the heater works. When it is cold outside, only the air conditioner works. The windows only open halfway. Only the country music station works. The windshield wipers scratch the windows. The car has to be manually locked. Tyler plans to get a new car. He is waiting to earn enough money. Haley has wanted to get her ears pierced since she was young. Her parents have never let her. They don't like how it looks. They tell her she can pierce her ears when she doesn't live with them anymore. All of Haley's good friends have pierced ears. They told her to do it. They said that she can hide them with her hair. Haley didn't want to be anxious all the time, though. If she pierced her ears, her parents would get mad. That was it. They could not be mad forever. Haley took a deep breath. She pierced her ears. Hannah, Stephanie, and Erica went to the zoo. They saw a lot of cute animals. There were giraffes, which have long necks. There were monkeys, whose faces look like human faces. They eat a lot of bananas, though. There were horses, which have nice hair. There were koalas. They were sleeping. There were pandas. They were big. There were iguanas. They look funny. There were bears. They look soft. Hannah, Stephanie, and Erica wanted to touch the animals. They could not. They could only take pictures. Susie likes to eat chocolate. She really likes chocolate with caramel. Her mom gives her a chocolate bar. Susie is happy. She bites the bar. It is tasty. She starts to get thirsty. The chocolate is too sweet. Mom, can you get me a drink? She asks. Her mom gives her a drink. Susie drinks it. It is chocolate milk. Too sweet, Susie yells. You never said what kind of drink you wanted, her mom says. 
Susie gets up from her seat. Not from her seat. She grabs a water bottle. She drinks a lot of water. Much better, she says. She continues eating the chocolate. Chuck has really white teeth. He has never had a cavity before. He takes good care of his teeth. He brushes his teeth with whitening toothpaste for five minutes. He brushes in a circular motion. He does not forget his tongue. Afterwards, he uses minty mouthwash. He rinses his mouth with it for a minute. It burns a little bit. Finally, he flosses between every tooth. He does this process after he eats. He even does this after eating a snack. He brings his teeth cleaning supplies everywhere. He even brings them to school. Katie wants a lot of things that are hard to get. She wants to be President of the United States when she is 35. She wants to go to Harvard. She wants to get one million friends. She wants to have ten more siblings. She wants to be a belly dancer. She wants to travel all over the world. She told her mom about all her dreams. You should be more realistic, her mom said. But I want to be amazing, Katie said. Start small, her mom said. Katie ignored her mom. Nothing was impossible. The word impossible even says, I'm possible. Donna's birthday was coming up. Her friends asked her what she wanted. Donna said to get her nothing. She did not want to owe them anything. Her parents asked her what she wanted. Donna told them not to get her anything. Are you sure? her mom asked. Donna said yes. Donna's parents and friends did not believe her. They thought she was just being modest. They got her presents anyways. Donna's mom gave her a diamond bracelet. Her dad gave her flowers. Her friends threw her a surprise party. Donna said thank you. Donna was a little disappointed, though. She did not have much fun at her surprise party. Arthur and Betty used to go to the same high school. After high school, they went to different colleges. They still wanted to date, though. Arthur lives in California. Betty lives in Massachusetts. They talked to each other a lot. They talked on the phone. They sent letters. They sent photos of what they were doing to each other. They talked to each other on FaceTime, too. It was hard, though. Arthur and Betty had to deal with the time difference. Massachusetts was three hours ahead of California. Sometimes Arthur forgets to call. He tried to talk to her at 11 p.m. California time. It was 2 a.m. in Massachusetts, though. They miss each other a lot. Sarah was very excited today. It was the first time she was going to ride a horse. Her uncle took her to the stables where the horses were. Horses have always been her favorite animal. When she saw the horses, her heart was filled with excitement. She picked up one of the horses to she picked one of the horses to ride. She got her equipment. All laced up and ready to go, she got on the horse. At first, the ride was bumpy. Soon enough, she got the hang of it. She felt like she was flying. When it was time to leave, all she could do, all she could think was when the next time was going to be. John was playing a new game on his computer. The game was intense. He was on the final level. A monster came out of nowhere and attacked his character. He lost. John got very angry. He slammed his fist into the computer. 
the computer went black. Oh no, John screamed. The computer was now broken. John had to tell his parents. They were very upset with him. They took the computer to the shop the next day to get it fixed. John felt very bad. He learned not to take his anger out violently. He stopped playing the game. The Johnson's couch was very old. They had already had it in the family for over twenty years. The couch had stains from their lunches and dinners. It was ripped by their cat. The couch also had a strange odor coming from it. It was time for a new one. They went to a furniture store. They saw all types of couches. They saw long ones, short ones, leather ones, and fabric ones. They all decided to pick a black leather couch that could seat four people. They had the couch delivered to their house. The Johnsons were very happy. The whole family sat on their new couch and watched TV together. Tara and her mom were shopping at the market. Their relatives were coming to have dinner with them. Tara went to get the apple juice while her mom went to get the lettuce. Her mom got all the ingredients for salad. She got tomatoes, lettuce, chicken, and croutons. Tara then suggested making brownies for dessert. She got the brownie mix and nuts to put inside. They also bought some chicken and pasta. They were ready for checkout. The cashier rang up all their items. They paid for their food. After putting all their food in bags, they left the grocery store. They were ready to begin preparing their dinner. Samantha could not see clearly what the teacher wrote on the board. She told her mom about it. Her mom told her it was time to get her eyes examined and get new glasses. She went to her eye doctor. After waiting for her name to be called, she saw the doctor. The eye doctor tested her eyes out. Samantha picked out a frame. She tried the new glasses and saw perfectly. The new glasses were ready for her to pick up. She was excited. The next day in class, she was able to see everything clearly. Samantha now remembers to check her eyes every year. Kathleen wanted to see her favorite band. They were performing in her city. The concert was in a couple of months. The tickets went on sale online an hour ago. She was asleep when the tickets were on sale. When she woke up, the tickets were all sold out. Kathleen was sad that she could not see her favorite band. She sat in her bed, listening to their latest album, she was mad at herself for falling asleep. Later on, her friend came over. Her friend told her she bought tickets for her. Kathleen was super happy and hugged her friend. She was excited to go to the concert with her friend. It was the last day of the summer day camp. It was hot, almost a 100 degrees. The counselors needed a way to cool off the kids. After talking, the counselors decided to give out snow cones. The snow cones would be made out of ice and syrup. There were different flavors. Strawberry, blueberry, and raspberry. Some kids got one flavor. Some kids mixed them together. All the kids loved the snow cones. It was a fun day. Everyone enjoyed their treat. Snow cones were a success. After the kids had their snow cones, they went to the playground. The snow cones helped cool them off. Brad and his friends needed something to do. They had no idea what to do. It was a Saturday morning. 
Brad's friend Jeremy suggested they go rock climbing. None of them had ever been. Brad agreed and said it would be a good idea. They drove to the rock climbing place. They paid ten dollars to go inside. They saw all the walls and harnesses. Brad and his friends got excited. They started to get all their equipment. They raced. Jeremy was the first one to climb the whole wall. All of them had tons of fun. They did not want to go home. Sol and Victor decided to go hiking. Today was a perfect day for hiking. The weather was a cool seventy degrees. The hike was three miles up and three miles down. They brought plenty of water for their hike. Sol brought his dog on the hike also. They hiked upwards. At the top there was a waterfall. They admired the view. It was beautiful. When they were done, they hiked back down. After the hike, Sol and Victor were tired. They decided to get a healthy fruit smoothie. They went back to Victor's house and made smoothies. Today was a nice day. The weather was great. It was a good time to go to the beach. Andrea decided to go surfing. She went with her family. Andrea and her family drove down to the beach. When she got out of the car, she headed straight for the water. The water was cold at first. The waves were great as the wind was perfect. After surfing, she ate lunch with her family. They grilled hot dogs. Andrea loved surfing. Today was a fun day for her. Her whole family had a great time surfing. She felt good spending time with her family. It was a hot summer day. The sun was burning. It was over 100 degrees. The kids did not want to go outside. Everyone stayed inside. Everyone turned on their air conditioner. Some people turned on their fan. Everyone drank a lot of water. This was the hottest day of the year. All the kids were sweating. The parents were exhausted from the heat. Lots of people decided to go to the beach swimming. The water helped cool them off. There were a lot of kids who went swimming. They had fun. The hot sun was not so bad. They wore sunscreen. The sunscreen helped protect them. They did not want to damage their skin. Emily was a lifeguard at the local pool. Her job was to make sure the kids were safe. She had to watch the pool. She had to save kids if they were to drown. Emily had to know how to swim well. She also had to know CPR. She had to make sure she was always watching. She had to be aware of everything. She also had to be good with kids. Emily loved her job. She enjoyed seeing the kids having fun. It was not all hard work. She also got to use the pool when she was not working. Josh won the lottery. He is now a millionaire. He couldn't believe it. He could buy so many things now. First, he paid off his student loans. He was finally free of debt. He, th he then bought a ticket to Hawaii. He also bought tickets for his best friends. They all went to Hawaii together. They didn't worry about the money when they were there. Josh stayed in the nicest hotel. He ate the fanciest food. He flew back home first class. He had about $800,000 left. He decided to put it all in his bank account. 
He didn't want to go too crazy. Sarah worked in an ice cream shop. She loved being surrounded by ice cream. Every day she got to see smiles. She loved serving children and their families. She loved putting smiles on people's faces. She also got to have free ice cream. She made sure not to eat too much. Too much ice cream is not healthy. She had ice cream once a week. Her favorite flavor was chocolate. The most popular flavor was vanilla. The store had 20 different flavors. They had three different sizes. And two types of cones. The store was very popular. Sarah enjoyed working there. Kara came home from work. She looked for her dog. She could not find him. He was missing. She looked all over. She called his name. He was gone. She decided to ask her neighbors. They had not seen her dog. She walked all around her neighborhood. She had no luck. She decided to make signs. She put up information about her dog. She also put up a picture of her dog. She gathered her friends and family to help put up signs. A couple hours later, she received a phone call. Someone found her dog. She was so happy. She was glad he was safe. Cindy was preparing to run a marathon. A marathon was 26 miles. It would require a lot of practice. She decided to practice before the marathon. She started out with running five miles a day. Each day, she added one mile. Soon, she was running 26 miles. She was ready now. She prepared for the day. She ate healthily. She had cereal in the morning. She had a salad for lunch. She had chicken and rice for dinner. She also ate protein bars. The 26 miles would take a lot of energy. On the day of the marathon, she wore comfortable running shoes. She made sure to wear athletic clothes. It was a normal day. Suddenly, all the lights went out. It was a blackout. Sam looked out his window. The lights were out on the whole street. He went to get candles. He lit up the candles. The blackout lasted for several hours. He had a paper due tomorrow. He had to write it out tonight. He used the candle. His parents found some flashlights to help. The blackout was not so bad. Sam got to see how life was without electricity. He finished his paper much faster than he would have with the distractions of technology. Everyone had to perform a dance. It was for the performance next Friday. The performance was called Dance for Arthritis. It was to raise money. Each ticket was $5. The money would be donated to help treat arthritis. Joey wanted to help. He did not know how to dance, though. He was afraid of embarrassing himself. He decided to watch videos. He tried to teach himself. He could not do it. He finally decided to ask his friend. His friend was an expert on dancing. He taught him different dance moves. After they practiced, Joey was ready. He was excited to help the cause. Jim worked at a clothing store. He had been working there for two years. He saw a flyer in the break room. It was an announcement that they were looking for a new supervisor. 
Jim wanted to move up. He decided to apply for the position. He filled out the application. One week later, he had an interview. Jim was confident and did well in the interview. After a week, he heard back. He had gotten the position. Jim loved his new job very much. He was happy about his promotion. He began to think of ways to help the store. Tom had an old car. He had the same car for 20 years. One day, his car broke down. He could no longer drive it. He decided it was time for a new car. He went car shopping. He brought his brother along. He asked the dealer to show him around. Tom was looking for something affordable and dependable. He wanted a medium-sized car. He wanted a car with four doors and five seats. He spent hours looking at cars. He finally decided on one. Now he had to figure out the price. The dealer gave him a good price. Tom went home with his brother in his new car. It was Claire's birthday. She decided to have it at a pizza place. She chose Pizza Palace. Pizza was her favorite food. The party was also pizza-themed. She wore a shirt that said Pizza Queen. Her favorite type of pizza was Hawaiian. She loved pineapples on her pizza. Along with food, Pizza Palace also had an arcade. They had many games. They had air hockey, basketball, and even Dance Dance Revolution. Claire was so excited. This was the best day ever. She loved spending time with her friends. Claire had a fun time. She could not wait for her next birthday. Sam never knew how to cook. She was going to be living by herself. She decided it was time to learn. She bought books on how to cook. She also watched videos online. She decided to start simple. The first thing she decided to learn was pasta. The first thing she did was to boil hot water to cook the pasta. She then made the sauce for fresh tomatoes. She added pepper and chilies to add more flavor. She also added cheese. After it was done, she ate it. She was excited to eat what she made. It did not taste that good. It was not horrible, though. She decided that she needed more practice. Alan works at the library. He is a librarian. His job is to help people check out books. He also helps them find books. He loves working with people. His favorite job is talking to people about books. Every week, he holds a book club. He also helps shelve and organize the books. Alan's favorite type of books are fantasy books. He loves sharing his views on books with others. The library is like his second home. He hopes that people enjoy their time as much as he does. Books are his escape from his problems. The library is open to everyone. He likes working with all types of people. Lillian had a twin. Her twin's name was Yvonne. Although they looked alike, they were nothing alike. They had complete opposite personalities. Lillian loved art. She loved painting and drawing. She spent most of her days listening to music and drawing. She was also messy. Everything in her room was disorganized. Yvonne loved reading. She loved writing stories and figuring out problems. She spent most of her time reading. She was also very organized. Lillian was more creative. Yvonne was smarter. 
Both of them were similar, too. They both loved playing sports. They both were on the tennis team. Hugo was visiting America. His brother lived in America. He came to see his brother. Hugo knew, knew a little English, but he did not speak English very well. His brother's name was Pablo. Pablo was showing him around America. He took him to the best places to eat. He took him to all the famous sites. They went to New York, California, Washington, and Pennsylvania. Pablo took him to a lot of museums and gardens. He also showed him stores and libraries. Hugo had a great time. He did get a little homesick. Today at work, they were giving away free pretzels. They had a free pretzel day to reward all the workers. They were all excited. Everyone loved the free pretzels. They had different types of pretzels. They had cinnamon pretzels. They had salt pretzels. They had plain pretzels. The most popular were the salt pretzels. They also had toppings. You could add chocolate. You could also add almonds and icing. The pretzels made everyone motivated to work. After the pretzel, everyone was energized. The pretzel day was a big success. Paul was getting braces. He was turning 13. His parents decided it was now a good time to get braces. Paul had an overbite. He also had very crooked teeth. Braces were expensive. He had to do it, though. He scheduled an appointment for tomorrow. He was scared. He thought it would hurt. The orthodontist looked at his teeth. He took several pictures and x-rays. He told Paul that he would start to put the braces on. Paul was scared. However, it did not hurt as much as he thought. After the orthodontist was done, Paul was relieved. He felt weird to have metal things on his teeth, though. He had trouble eating. His parents bought him ice cream. Amy had a dentist appointment. It was time for her checkup. The dentist would see if she had any cavities. She arrived at the dentist and signed in. They called her name. An assistant took x-rays of her teeth. The assistant then told her to wait in the waiting room. After ten minutes, the dentist called her in. She told Amy that she had no cavities. They just had to clean her teeth. The dentist used special tools. Even a special toothbrush was used. It was not like the regular kind that Amy used at home. After the dentist was done, Amy felt good. Her teeth felt shiny and clean. She would come back six months later. Teresa's neighbors were out of town. They had two dogs. One was a German Shepherd. The other was a Terrier. They told Teresa that they would be gone for three days and asked her if she could watch the dogs. Teresa agreed. She loved dogs. She went over the next day. She brought the dogs back to her house. She fed them and played with them. Later, she walked the dogs. They walked around the block, then they went to the park. She took them to play with other dogs. Teresa had fun taking care of the dogs. Her neighbors came back. They thanked Teresa. They brought Teresa a gift from their vacation. Sarah smelled something funny in her house. She did not know what it was. She went into the living room and saw her dog. The dog was covered in mud. She had to give him a bath. She hated giving the dog baths. They took a long time. Her dog did not like taking a bath, 
and always tried to run away. He made everything messy. She took the dog outside. She brought out a giant bucket. She used it to wash the dog. The dog saw the bucket and ran away. She knew this was going to be hard. She finally got him to stay. She turned on the hose. She started to wash the dog. It took a long time. She was finally done. She took the dog inside the house. He was clean and shiny. Tom had nothing to do this summer. His mom told him that he could not just stay at home. He was also tired of staying at home, so he decided to volunteer. He thought about places he could volunteer. The library, the hospital, and the animal shelter. He finally settled on the animal shelter. He loved animals. He owned two cats, three fish, and a pet lizard. He went to the animal shelter to sign up. He filled out all the forms. Two weeks later, he began to volunteer. He assisted people who wanted to adopt animals. Tom had a lot of fun. He was glad he volunteered. Tomorrow was Mother's Day. Danielle wanted to do something for her mother. She was thankful for everything her mother did. She decided to cook her dinner. She also decided to get her a necklace. She went to the mall with her dad. She bought a pearl necklace. They went to the market. She decided to cook her mother's favorite dinner. She bought chicken and pasta. She decided to make chicken alfredo. Her dad helped her make the sauce. She also bought a cake. The cake says, Happy Mother's Day. It was decorated with frosting and fruit. Danielle could not wait to see the look on her mother's face. It was Sunday. Judy's dad had a day off work today. Her mom also had no work. They wanted to do something fun. They decided to go to the park. It was a nice sunny day, perfect for a picnic. They brought a blanket to sit on. They also brought a basket. Inside the basket was food. They ate sandwiches. The sandwiches had ham, cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes. They laughed. They talked. After their nice meal, they decided to walk around the park. They saw ducks. They fed the ducks their leftover bread. They also played with a frisbee. Sandy was bored. She had nothing to do. It was a Friday. She decided to go to the beach. The weather was perfect for the beach. It was neither too sunny nor too cold. She called her friend Danny, who said he would go to the beach with her. Danny came and picked her up. They drove to the beach. They went into the water. After swimming, they decided to eat. They went to a nearby shack. They had fish tacos. The tacos were really good. After that, they went to the shops. There were a bunch of different stores near the beach. Karen was hungry. Her mom did not make any food. She was home all alone. She decided to make a sandwich. She was going to make a super sandwich. She first started with the bread. She then spread mayonnaise and mustard on it. She also added different types of meat. She had bologna, ham, and bacon. She decided she could not have 
all meat. She added lettuce, tomatoes, spinach, and cilantro. She added a special twist by adding chips and avocado to her sandwich. She knew this was going to taste amazing. She got a plate and sat down. She was ready to eat her sandwich. Josh wanted to do something fun today. He decided to go to the art museum with his sister. Today was a special day. The museum was free. It was usually twenty dollars to enter per person. They packed lunch sandwiches to eat later. They drove there. It took about half an hour. The first thing they looked at was Renaissance art. This was art from the fourteenth to seventeenth centuries. It was Josh's favorite. After that, they went to look at modern art. His sister loved modern art. She loved how refreshing and abstract it was. They admired all the artwork. They took pictures of some of them. The Adam family was going on a road trip. They were driving from California to Utah. They were going to see the Grand Canyon. The family got bored on the ride there. The dad suggested they play music. They played music that the whole family liked. After a while, the mom suggested they play a game. They played the alphabet game. Each person would say an animal that started with a letter of the alphabet, like ant, bat, cat, dog, and so on. They changed the topic after they went through the whole alphabet. They did names, places, and people. After that, they just talked about what they would do in Utah. They had fun conversations and laughs. Sarah loved plants. She loved growing new things in her garden. She liked to grow her. Own fruits and vegetables. She thought they were more organic that way. They would also be more satisfying to eat. This time, she was growing mangoes. She knew her mango tree would take a while to grow. She bought a small mango tree from the store. She then got all her gardening tools. She made sure to wear a hat and sunscreen. Since it was hot outside, she dug a hole. She then placed the tree inside. She made sure it got plenty of light and water. She awaited her tasty mangoes. Tina was walking to work. She tripped on something. She looked down. It was a wallet. It was black. There were stripes on it. She opened the wallet. There was over three hundred dollars inside. There were two credit cards. There were also several receipts. This person shopped a lot. Tina pulled out the owner's driver's license. It was her old friend Claire. Tina hadn't talked to her in a long time. There was no phone number on the license. Tina could not contact Claire. Tina went to the lost and found. She dropped the wallet in the box. She hoped Claire would get the wallet. Pam was getting married. She was very excited. She was also nervous. Everything had to be perfect. She was scared that things would go wrong at the last minute. Her maid of honor was her sister, who made sure everything was ready. She checked all the guests. She made sure the cake and food were ready. She prepared the flower girl and the ring bearer. Everything was perfect. The wedding colors were purple and silver. There were purple and silver flowers on all the tables. 
the wedding ceremony was outdoors. It was by a beautiful lake. All the chairs had silver ribbons tied to them. It was a beautiful day. Michelle's hair was getting long. She was starting college soon. She wanted to cut her hair before college started. She was also going to donate her hair. She had to cut eight inches to donate it. She decided to cut it even though it would be really very short. She never had her hair short. It was always long. She decided it was time for a change. After she cut her hair, she felt good. She loved her new look. She felt fresh. It would be easier to wash and comb her hair. She also felt good about donating her hair. Janet's prom was coming up. She already bought her dress. It was a long purple dress with diamond sequins. She needed to buy a necklace first. She wanted something bold. She wanted it to stand out. She saw a lot of necklaces. None of them felt right. Then she saw a beautiful diamond necklace. It had diamonds in the shape of flowers. She knew this was the one. She also had to get earrings and bracelets. She decided to get matching ones with the necklace. She got small flower studs for earrings and a bracelet with a flower diamond charm. She was happy with her jewelry. She got them on sale too. Lucas was going rock climbing today. He loved hiking and biking. This was his first time rock climbing. Lucas was not scared though. He was athletic. He was actually excited. He went with two of his friends. They had to sign a waiver first. They then got their harnesses. They started with the short wall. After they mastered that, they moved on to the larger wall. They raced to the top. Lucas got to the top first. They had a lot of fun. After rock climbing, they decided to go eat. They deserved the food after their good workout. There was a local talent show. The first place winner would get $500. The second place winner would get 300 The third place winner would get $100. It was free to participate. Tickets were sold for $5 per person. Everyone was excited to perform and also watch. There were all kinds of acts, including the typical singing and dancing acts, exciting magic acts, and extreme cycling. The whole town was excited. Tickets were sold out. The money raised from the tickets would go to a local charity. The charity was for the homeless. Tom usually did his laundry every Saturday, but he was starting to run out of t-shirts to wear. He felt dirty wearing the same clothes over again. He decided to do his laundry now. It was a lot of work. He gathered all his clothes and put them in the washing machine. He made sure to separate dark and light colors. After they were done, he put them inside the dryer. After they were dried, he had to turn all his clothes. He then had to iron them. He ironed all his clothes and folded them. He was finally done. Jessie was playing a soccer game today. She had been playing soccer for five years. She loved soccer. She played the position forward. As a forward, she had to try to make goals. She loved playing soccer because of the different skills it required. She liked kicking and also running. 
the team they were playing against was known to be good and had been undefeated so far. The game was going to start in an hour. She was a little nervous. Her team warmed up. They stretched. They practiced passing the ball around. They practiced taking shots at the goal. Jessie felt pumped up and ready for the game. Michelle needed a summer job. She decided to work at the movie theaters. She wanted to work there in order to gain experience. She also loved movies. Since she worked at movie theaters, she would be able to watch free movies. It was a part-time job. She still had time to be with her friends and family. Michelle had had different jobs. Sometimes she worked as a cashier. She would either sell tickets or food. Michelle liked selling tickets better. Working with food was messy and also a fast-paced environment. Sometimes Michelle worked as an usher, which meant she had to clean the theaters.